guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to this video i'm doing something different today because if you know me you know i'm obsessed with keeping everything in its place and when it's not i'm really frustrated not to say that my house is always in its place i try my best so over the past few months i have been trying to organize my closet space because now i have like a wider wardrobe and i just wanted to sort out the smaller things like underwear socks um scarves things like that that we completely put to the sideline you know we just organize our main closet we fold it and then we forget that we just dump the underwear in the drawer and i have been with a very unorganized um underwear drawer for like months now because i don't know what exactly to do i wanted to find a systematic way of finding like all my underwear you know it's like how do you identify each of them or even your bras for example your socks there's so many of them right so i decluttered a lot of old lingerie a lot of lingerie that i don't use and are brand new you know um so i'm going to show you all of that and specifically how you can keep your space clean your closet clean now you don't need a massive walk-in wardrobe to have a neat wardrobe um so i'm going to teach you how to optimize on your space if you have a smaller wardrobe i'll teach you how you can put everything into one box or one section so you can find it easily later on so that's what this video is going to be about it's something different let me know if you enjoy it for all my organizing freaks out there hello this video is going to satisfy you a lot honey so yeah let's quickly get into my messy closet Alright guys, so we're gonna clean up this mess right here. These are my bras and my underwear both mixed and this is how it was earlier. So I decluttered a lot of my old lingerie that I'm not going to be wearing anymore. You have to get rid of the old ones, you guys. Um, now, for the organization, I'm gonna bring this organizer first. This is an organizer I got from Amazon. They come in a set of four, I believe. You get all different shapes and sizes. So you have to see which one suits your liking and accordingly you can pick. I picked up this one because it's got like really soft folds, which I wanted. I didn't want a hard case organizer. So I'm going to start folding my undies and these are new pair of undies. That's why I'm nicely showing it to you. <laughs> um, these are underwears I got from Westside. They come in a pack of three, but I'm showing you how to fold your undergarments. So you always, um, you can do it any way you want. There's no rule as such, but this is much more neater and you can see what underwear is kept at the forefront. So similarly, I'm um, doing it to all the underwears. Yeah. From now on, moving forward, I will fold every underwear that I have. <laughs> once it's dried because um, this is how you upkeep your closet and you don't have to keep cleaning it out so these are already folded because they're new underwears so I'm just gonna place them in these sockets and I'm only gonna keep underwears that I genuinely like and use we tend to store a lot of stuff in our closet that we don't use you guys you need to donate or get rid of them in the case of underwears you get rid of them uh, I'm just placing all the underwears in each socket and it looks so much neater already. These are the underwears I have narrowed down to. Now I have all that empty space out there. All right, moving on to thongs. These are lacy thongs that I got from H&M. They have one of uh, the most amazing material when it comes to underwear. So I have different kinds of thongs. So what I'm gonna do is put it in this as well. You can double stack it because these are, you know, much more thinner in material. So you can double stack it if you have extra. But I think it fit perfectly, you guys. Now this is what I'm going to use and wear at all times for a while. Yeah, I'm taking a little cold coffee break. <laughs> it was like um, in the morning and I really thought, you know, I'll just hang out, sit in my master bedroom and organize. I haven't uh, filmed in my master bedroom ever since I moved in here. So I thought it would be really cute. <laughs> All right, let's get back. So this is the final organization of my underwear and I already feel so calm looking at it. But um, this is so easy. You can see each underwear. You can see what you want to wear. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you don't need to have 20,000 underwears, guys. You just need to have your basics and that is it. Keep it minimal. Moving on to gym undie. I do have different set of underwear for the gym. I don't wear the same one. These are brand new from H&M and they have days of the week on it that is super cute. Um, 
this is a part of the organizer that came with that of course so i'm gonna fold it in the same manner and i'm going to put it in each socket and these are uh, the only underwear i use for gym i lost my wednesday thursday wala underwear <laughs> but yeah um and it's easier for me because i don't have to hunt for my gym underwear in the middle of all that mess you know when i have to rush out i just know where it's kept and look how beautiful All right, moving on to sports bras. Um this is also an important part of your undergarment drawer, you guys. You need to keep this neatly as well uh because they do have pads in them and you don't want them crushed, you know. This is the jockey one in large and this is the H&M one I got very recently. This is in the size medium. Uh so what I'm going to do is pick out another organizer that came along with this. Isn't this great? Like it's a set of four. And what I love about this is that this has bigger like space so I can definitely fit my sports bra in here. So I'm putting in the jockey purple one. I have like three jockey bras, you know. Uh this is the gray one and then the pink one as well. And they fit perfectly and comfortably in it. and i'm going to keep my sports bras to a minimal i had like so many and then i just never use them you guys so i'm like hey you know what i'm just going to declutter and use exactly what i love so these are it i may be going to buy one more to fill that up and that is all i will use for my gym <laughs> All right, so now moving on to this final organizer. So this one has massive gaps and this is for your actual bras. So I have a bunch of bras like you can see and when I tell you I don't use any of them. <laughs> Maybe I use like one or two, but I dislike bras like nobody's business, like we all girls. I feel like bras just stab us in the chest and how? You guys know that, right? You guys relate with me. So this is my entire bra collection. Some of them are brand new, they're untouched. Um and yeah, that's my favorite one. It's just got a little scratched up because I kept it messily earlier. So, you know, the threads came out and I learned my lesson. I needed to organize my bras. So that blue lace one I just wore once. It's from West Side. Most of my bras are from West Side. Um this is the naked Nike kid one that they sent me. Very comfortable has a wire but it's super comfy. So I decided to keep this one. and i declutter the rest of it the pink one and i don't i'm not 16 anymore i i don't use those loud colors i just keep my neutrals like my strapless black one this is from west side i use this a bunch when i wear tube tops when i wear strapless tops um i love this it's super comfy it's from wonderlust from west side yeah All right, so this is what I decided to keep. Um the neutral colors, different kinds of nudes, whites, plum, like I've got everything going on right here and this is all I need. If I ever need a very like sexy bra, I will definitely buy one just to like feel sexy and you should definitely invest in good lingerie. I feel it makes you feel so confident. But for now, these are my go-to and that's why I keep them at the forefront. Um and you know, at an arm's distance. So, This is my final um organizing for my undergarments. I feel like it's so soothing to my eye. My eyes are blessed right now. Let me know who eyes are blessed right now because I know that this is going to make you feel so good the next time you open your drawer. You're just going to know exactly what you want, where it is and how to get it. This is my everyday undergarment. That is my gym undergarment. That's my sports bra collection and this is my everyday bra collection. All in one and organized is so beautifully. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this in our drawer. Now, if you keep your stuff in a drawer, this is how it will fit. Okay? Um optimize 
and utilize every space that you have. So now when you open it, you can see exactly what underwear you have. I use this plastic sheet. You get it in like any like plastic store. I just put a sheet down there. You could put newspapers as well. And these are naphthalene balls. Is that what it's called? This just keeps the odor away. Um, so yeah, I put that everywhere all over my closet. All right, so now for my gym undies, I'm going to place them right beside because I feel like, um, you know, underwears together is like a theme. And because they're cloth, they can just go right in and adjust the way I want them to adjust. Look how soft this is. Um, that's why don't buy any hard case organizers because then you'll, you're restricted, you know, you're limited. Now I have all that space and what I'm gonna do is take my sports bra organizer and I'm just going to fit it in right there and look at this this is just like mm, my eyes girl <laughs> you have your underwears gym underwears and bras in one place you don't have to go looking for them and hunting for them so you open them Ta -da! <laughs> All right, so for my regular bras, what I'm gonna do is uh, place it um, in the same drawer just so you can see that you can optimize your space. Just use every bit of it and then um, there you go. See, so all your undergarment is in one drawer, but I have extra space. Uh, just put this underneath and I'm gonna push it to the side so that whenever I want, I can pull it out and you know, pick which bra I want. Alright, so now we're gonna move on to some socks. These are the pair of socks I have. Some are in the wash. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how you can neatly organize this. So these are also a pack of socks that I got, but they're a size small for me. I mean, two sizes smaller. They're seven, I am size nine. Yeah, I know I'm big feet, okay, whatever. Let's not discuss. Um, I have really major feet. But um, these are really good socks. They're from H&M. The ones I buy are for $7.99. These are the Disney edition, that's where they're extra and they're amazing quality. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just put it like this. I mean, regularly how you would, you know, roll up socks, you would do it the same way. You wanna find your pairs and you wanna just put them together so you're not hunting when you need socks. So make sure even when you uh, take them out from the wash, you are putting them back the same way. That way we never have to clean up again, okay? Our laziness is what <laughs> creates the mess. All right, so I don't have an organizer for this, but I do have a basket that I got from One Stop, I guess, in Malad. So I picked this up and I found it super cute. I'm just gonna place the socks beside each other. Okay, so you don't really need an organizer such. Anything that you think you could put your stuff in, that is your organizer. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna place this like this so I can see which socks I wanna go for next time. All right, so there you have it. You don't have to have a million pairs of socks, ladies. You just need maybe seven to eight, maximum 10. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can always wash them again. And yeah, I just absolutely love the way this looks. Okay, so moving on to scarves and shawls. So I carry shawls when I don't wanna wear jackets. On days where I wear a dress, I just carry a tiny shawl in my bag. Um, this is a Masaba one that I thought was so pretty and that's why I'm keeping it. So I'm gonna fold it just like this uh, and keep that aside. Now all my shawls are of different tones, uh, but neutral ones again, so a pink, a nude and a black and they're all from H&M and they're stunning, stunning quality. So what I'm gonna do is, I have this organizer from Miniso, okay? And I'm just going to place it really well inside now. So this is so easy. You can keep whatever you want inside here. Literally, there are no rules for organizing as such. Um, just do it the way you find comfortable and easy. Make life easier for yourself, that's what it's about. So I'm gonna place this one on top of the other. Yeah, keep it where it is. So I know, you know, if I want my scars and shawls, they're in one place. 
Now I have all that extra space left and I'm going to utilize that space. I'm not going to let it go. So to use that space up, I thought I would put in my hand towels because they're really tiny and they don't take that much space. So um, these are hand towels I got from West Side, West Side Home, and the tiny pink ones were given to me by Akil's mommy. So it's really cute. Um, I just need to, you know, fold them really pretty because they were sitting like in my cupboard in the middle of everything, which I think was not right. <laughs> so I'm just folding them like you can see. So I'm gonna place this right over there and can you see how beautifully it sits over there because I used every bit of space that I had I didn't overcrowd it but I just used the right amount of space so there you have it now all your scarves your shawls your hand towels are in one location and you know that so push it towards the side now my socks can also be put right beside it you know my fluffy robe now that I pushed right beside because it takes too much space and I put this, uh, I got this in PR, this is a tray and I don't waste anything that comes like this because I utilize every bit of it. So I'm just going to place my towels here from now on. All right, so these are my swimwear collection. I used to buy a lot because Shein was really cheap at the time and was available. So I used to buy a lot of swimwear, but it turns out they were really small for my chesticles. Uh, I used to get nip slip all the time in the water. So I decided it's time to declutter. So I discarded what I don't want. I obviously donated it. So I have some socks here. These are my winter socks that I wear when I travel, when I go to colder countries. I have my collection of winter wear that comes in handy very few times, but I need them. So I'm taking this, uh, I'm taking my bikinis and I'm just going to put them in like, you know, together just so it doesn't get lost. So always pair your things together if they come in set. So you never have to lose them. So this is another organizer I bought from Miniso. These are organizers I had from before, but I didn't use them really well. And now I am. So this is another organizer that came. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. Some are from Miniso. I'm going to, you know, list everything down. So I'm going to utilize this pouch to put in my um, tights and my socks and like, you know, those um, stockings. Yeah, I have those winter stockings. So I'm going to keep everything in this because they're very thin material and I feel like it's going to tear if I place them with something else so all my thick and thin socks go in one pouch and I'm gonna zip it up really tight so there you have it see all your socks now are in this and you cannot forget it <laughs> because they're all in one place. Now this is another pouch I got from somewhere. I don't recollect, but I definitely do keep these pouches because I know I will need them in the future. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is keep all my swimwear item here. So I'm, I just literally narrowed it down to like five bikinis. <laughs> so I'm just gonna place each and every bikini in this pouch as best as possible because um, they're not too much. They don't take too much space. So, um, I'm just going to put this strap down and you don't really have to like shut it all the way, but just to keep it from falling out, you just tie a little knot and there you have it. So these are my sarongs that I use at the beach or at the pool. So I'm going to keep them right next to the swimwear. So that's how it maintains the theme. My woolen socks are there. So my woolen gloves will go right next to it and my hat, my cap, my beanie. <laughs> There's one more beanie I have here. So I'm keeping all of this winter time vacation and summertime vacation in one bag itself. And there you go. So whenever I need my vacation collection I just open this and dig in right here you can see the swimwear really easily and you want to push it right behind and you can use all that space you have out here see and I have all my different like files and things like that I have space for any extra things that I want to use you know right beside it 
Now I'm going to show you all my organizers that I have. These are it. They're mixed from Amazon and Miniso and they're so good when it comes to travel. I take this in my suitcase. I don't pack my bag just plainly. I put my clothes in one, my undergarment in one, my hair stuff in one. So it's all kept neatly um, when I pack and unpack. That's just who I am, okay? So this is how it looks. You get a large, you get a medium, you get a small. So yeah, these are my organizers and I highly freaking recommend these so much to you. Like this could be a great gift to someone. guys so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope i inspired you to get up and clean your wardrobe because i know a lot of you are sitting on messy wardrobes right now but um trust me when you wake up to an organized space and an organized closet you are going to feel like a whole other person uh, because it helps you like mentally as well when you see mess you feel messy when you see organized neat space it helps you be productive so um please organize your wardrobes and definitely tag me and click some pictures and tag me if you sort out your cupboard i want to see that you guys are inspired so that i get inspired to do more organization videos because i love organizing and this is what i do when i'm stressed out okay like i don't stress eat i stress clean um and cleaning just like soothes me entirely and so the next day when i wake up i'm like oh my god everything is sorted and i don't have to bother about mess i can deal with everything else in life so um you might think that this is like a very small thing but trust me mess is not the way to live you gotta clean your stuff constantly because it's your house and you gotta take care of your stuff so before i get into a lecture darling i will see you in my next video bye